make a v-shape with your arms oh gold Hey DT, how are you? Oh, here we go. Oh, Christ. What the hell? That is sensitive. Ooh. Oh, where are you going? Yeah, I'm very well, thank you. About to kill myself. Not quite sure what. Oh right, how are they doing? Are we ready for this? Our first jump. It's probably a big error. if there's different places so I'm gonna have a look and see if there's any any settings oh right there's no I can't see any way to turn it down though there's no no actual uh, menu that I can see let's have a look How have you been keeping them, DT? I haven't seen you on for a while. I know you got your, your braces in. You, what games you've been playing? You got any of the new ones that have come out?
Yes, I've got it on my list to download. I used to have it. I gave it away. Titan, Titanfall's a really good game. Attack of the Earthlings, I've never heard, never heard of that one. Right. Yeah, I'm good, thanks, Will. I'm really good. Let's do it, let's go to Korea. Career of the country, a continental cup. Oh, I see. I've got some freebies coming, by the way, people. Oh, have you? Well done. There's a lot of coats going around at the moment. I'm doing uh, something starting from next Friday uh, I'm calling it 12 games till Christmas and I've got 12 games with coats oh that's a good Not letting Eddie the Eagle down there. Yeah, I've got some codes which I'm going to start giving away on starting a week. Oh, it's, no, it's just less than a week now. Friday the 13th. Unlucky for some, but uh, US, EU. Uh, no, no, not today. I gave, uh, I had a uh, code which I gave out for the Oculus Rift for. Death Ray, not Death Ray, Death Lab. Always there. I wonder what's going on then. Maybe it's this game. But there's issues. Right, we're going to do this. We need to get a good lift. That's good, that's good, that's good. Whoa, whoa. Oh. I haven't got the game myself yet. I've been holding off on that one. Uh, only because of all the problems. Because I didn't know whether to get it on the Oculus Quest or the PSVR. And I watched a stream last night of the... Uh, I think it was Dr. Oculus. Was doing a live stream or a recorded stream of um, the game on the Quest. And it looked, it looked really good. I have to say on the quest so that might be the game that I go for but I've got a few other games some new ones some you might not have tried Whoa. Where's that going to put me on the leaderboard? 49th, so not last. Yeah, we can do that. I'm going to be about quite a bit over the Christmas period this year for 
for a change. Normally I'm uh, I'm not around, but um, sort of a little bit between Christmas and New Year, and then a little bit after the New Year. So um, yeah, the next two weeks are going to be a bit difficult, but after that, yeah, I should be I should be around. over that peak then I should be able to make it yeah I know <laughs> target for the red line I'm not getting anywhere near it I wonder if they do one um, with the old one where you go down the teeth This is no, that was those issues. I can't wait. I've got one near behind me. It's a bit of a diva. It doesn't like me wearing a headset. You might hear him start. You might hear him start. Your uncle's a rabbit chaser.
Come on. So one of the things about this game is that there doesn't appear to be anything different about the, the slopes really. I know they're in different locations and the stadium look a bit different. Well, <laughs> having said that, this one looks like this one does look like. Can you not go, look, you can't go up anyway. Right. Oh look. And it goes to the end of the rock. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> so good. I thought I'd done so well with it. Still not lost. <laughs> that was rubbish. In Russia. slopes. It's telling me to play the tutorial again, so you wait until it goes green. Oh my god. How can I do this? I can't. Why not? I think I'm doing everything right except for getting the landing. Which is obviously the most important part. <laughs> game really it, it just feels the same oh. landing to 
life. That's rubbish, that won't get the second job. I'm 44% of the way through. God, there must be a lot of... Yeah, so apart from different stadiums, there's not a lot that feels different. Jumping, they go right down to the bottom and do a nice turn. So, am I going to get a chance to? Yes, I've actually made it to the second jump. Get in. Come on. halfway through yet I think I might have left it a bit too late to do anything about this season let's see yes yeah, so it doesn't feel any different you don't I don't feel any vibrations on the controllers um, it just feels like you're going down the same slope it doesn't feel any steeper any of them, I suppose you've got to be a set of standard, haven't they? Oh, 
now. That's pants. It had to happen. I can't come last. I'm not having that. not in going well. <laughs> I'm gonna, once I finish this, I'm going to cash in my, my hard-earned money after I've paid my hospital bills. Oh! <laughs> 
sausage roll maybe. Don't want to come last. Let's keep this up. No failures now, even if we just do a crap job and land it. So the people below me must have come up above me, even though I was only I was 30. Come on, Innsbruck. It's not one I've heard of. Never had the pleasure of throwing myself down in until now. different for a continental cup there's a lot of jumps I don't know how many that is
No pun intended. I'll be interested to see if I upgrade my gear, whether that makes me go faster, which means you can leap further. stars. Right. Can we spaff off gear for money? Congratulations. Welcome to the World Cup. Oh, 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 oh. 
Thank you very much. I don't know how I'm 50th. If I came 48th, th then the other people below me surely can't have a second jump either. So surely I should be 48th. It's a fix. It's a VAR scheme. Finishing last all the time. Is it? of movement going down the slope that fast you would feel that you, you know you should get a sense of speed but it doesn't Miserably. I haven't got through one round yet. <laughs> Current person best is represented by a yellow line. No, that would be the urine running down my legs as I throw myself off the end. No parachute. Just my inadequacies. <laughs> it's not the games. 
Slay or the one we go face down on the on the tray. Go on. It's always something in it. Third of the way through. We're speeding through this. Challenge to this. It's, it's going to be down to your, your perse own perseverance, really, is to. Fast, isn't it? Right, here we go. He's gone. Basically the same thing going down 
that although they're without knowing As long as I don't come last. No coming last. Yes, I know. Dog's going on. Whatever. Whatever, fella. Loser. Yeah, the, I, I suspect that the uh, jumps are true representations of of the real jumps, and it's you know like a stadium. And they're, they're nicely done. With this, uh, the stones, are, you know, things around are a bit blocky. The snow is pretty pixelated, I would say. Basically, doing the same thing over and over again, although I am doing it badly. Stop. Spend my stars. That's what I want to see. I've got 12 stars. Sky Flying World Cup. So I do a go into my profile.
is this going to make me any better? I can't blame it on the equipment now because I think I have two scaffold boards strapped to my feet. Black bin bag and some cling film for my outfit. Let's see. Is this going to work out? If I finish 46, how three people that finished below me finished above me. I get penalised. At the moment, I can't see. <laughs> So I'm not getting enough of the takeoff. Taking off too late. Innsbruck. Sure, how I managed to. Second. 
decent jump. The fact that I'm making it down and staying on two feet's got to be worth something, isn't it? is my record. We've got to get 99 points to qualify. What's my 
teammate doing? He's letting us down. reward if we can upgrade something
Technical point. Viking days. This is another game of privilege that you will discover the people. And say this is what VR is about. <laughs> understand what they're supposed to be doing. They would understand what they're doing. And it, for them it would look, you know, they would, they would say, well, this, is, this is pretty cool. But if you were a regular VR gamer, and a real keen VR gamer, once you've done the jumps, it's, it's really going to be down to your what sort of a gamer you are, if you're one of those that I've bought this, I want to be the completist and, and carry on doing it, because uh, I've got no interest in in the slopes that I'm doing, I'm not interested in any of the courses like these, I'm not interested in any of these stadiums or anything, all I'm interested in is doing the jumps, and that's why I'm flying through them really. There's nothing there that's making me... trying to get that perfect <laughs> There is an, there's an entry in that room, not really. I'm excited about this, which is a shame. But I enjoy it, I'm enjoying it, don't get me wrong. And it's nice to see that the developers have done something a bit different. where they do the, the flips and things how that would work whether it would be the sickness thing that they wouldn't want you to do that so on the big jumps I don't get a sense of speed at all oh, I've made an error there Four. I think there's basket head I've not got around to playing yet. developer for trying to do something a bit different and utilise it. This is the sort of thing that you would more than likely see in an arcade. Couldn't get much worse. But yeah, this is the sort of thing you'd find in an arcade. Face yet, so you, you don't feel yourself leaning forward or anything, it's all done with the, the hands and, and your arms moving around. And just... Hey, Shats, how are you? Yeah, 
hundred. My winter training. Cannot master this. Have you played this one, Shats? Have you had a go? And look, I can't see that all the upgrades have actually made any improvement in my jumping. It's more of a, you know, show your show your friends what this is about. Is it, you know, in the old days, you had the skiing arcade machines. It, it's very much like one of those. It's, once you've done one, I just can't see it. You know, it's just trying to. jumping and trying to perfect your jump and I suppose you know that that's going to be it is it's getting all the time right to me if the place can I move up now no still bottom up so yeah I'm I, I think it's I'm a, I do like my sports and I love the winter olympics I, you know I love watching these sort of things on the TV, I like, I like all sports, and, th and this was interesting to me, which is why I bought it, I thought, oh, I'll have a bit of that, but it's just the same thing all the time, you're just, you know, you're pushing yourself up, if you miss time, it, you won't get as good a start, so you won't get to jump as far, and you're all over <laughs> So, yeah, I, I think it's going to be acquired taste, it's going to be down to yourselves, whether you, you know, this is something you want as, you know, as a, as a game that there's nothing else like it on the, on the system. It, to me, if it was part of an extreme sport package, so you had something like Rush, where you're doing the squirrel suit down the mountain and up one or doing like a skiing down the mountain, tobogganing, it was part of uh, like a, a done with the Mario and Sonic Olympics, if it was part of that and it was part of the Olympics, I can fully understand, you know, that this would be a good part of that package because it's a, just a single experience, it's, it's, it's difficult to say who will, who will buy this. Oh, career mode finished. Got 100. Oh, we can do some spaffing, though. Right, okay. Let's go in. Let's do the equipment. So. It's a shame because it, I wouldn't want to put anybody off it. It's graphically, it's just average when you look at it around. It's got animated things. The stadiums, I, I suppose, are built around you know, these stadiums of these ski ski jumps. So, but without knowing much about that side of things, I couldn't couldn't tell you how realistic they are. Um, when you're up there. Uh, I'm not really looking around at the stadium to see what they look like, so it doesn't matter to me that they all look different, so I'm not that involved in it. All I'm interested in is getting down that slope and trying to perfect the jumps, but, and every time you go down, all 
it is, it just seems to be that the, the equipment I haven't found, maybe now I've got a bit of money and I'm going to open up some of the top equipment, it will notice because of flight and things. There. Oh, we, we can't open that one. We can do that. So flight and focus, we can do that. And I think that's as far as we're going to be able to go now. Um, yeah, doing the, you know, doing the jump, it's just doing the jump and the, the only thing that you get a bit different is that some of them have a bit more crosswind. I don't notice any more speed. Um, the, some of the, the ramps that you're coming down, the, where you're landing, are more steeper, you know, so you, you seem to travel a lot further doing exactly the same thing and you think you've done a fantastic jump and then you find you're still in 40th or 50th place. So it's hard to find find that balance. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, it's me holding up the bottom. Yeah. I'm at the bottom of the course. I'm at the bottom of the pole when it comes to doing it as well. So quick jump. So let's, let's see. Then. So you can select all the different that okay. so, so even though I've done all the courses now, all the stadiums, I've only opened up two of these in practice. Let's see, do a quick jump, see if it's improved at all. I should have personal bests on these now. So you wait for the to go down to the green on the side, the nice brow on the wing, Oh, there's my personal best. Hello. But you look, look, could be best. And all it is, you're using the move controllers and to push yourself off you push the you hold the controllers up in the air, pull down on the triggers and then pull down towards you the controllers and that pushes yourself off. And then you're gently steering by sort of doing like a steering wheel sort of motion with your hands to try and balance yourself as you're going down the slope, then you do a V-shape as you're as you jump, so your arms go out to the to the sides at an angle, and then you, you can gently sort of coordinate your arms by tilting a little bit to which way you you are in flight, so you don't get too out of shape, and then you push your hands together to land. So there's a little bit to it. Finding the sweet spot all the time. See, I didn't control it. Yeah. And that's proved that I am, I have improved. So I didn't think I had. Oh, I had. Does that mean it's opened up the next ones now? No, yes. So I'm opening more up as I go. So, yeah, I've got... I 
can't say it's rubbish because everything that it's doing is good. It's, it's the tracking and everything works perfectly. It's all down to your own skills. And I just think it's going to be down to it again. Because you look at the, the stadium, it's obviously completely different, but it's so pixelated when you look at it. And you've got to say, you know, stone things. It's, it's not, not brilliant, I have to say. Yeah, it, once you've you've done it, I don't think you you know you'd be playing it too often again afterwards. because I am getting closer. There we go. Is it? I think it's because of this one. This one's a bit foggy and snowy. So I think they've, they've got this blurred texture. We'll see on the next one. Because on the rest of them, though, I don't think they're too bad. I think. Let's see, I don't know how you say that. Nizzy Tegil. See if it looks any different. They're just average, average graphics, and just a good game. That's all you can say. A solid, solid game that will interest probably a small minority of people. I mean, look, it's, you know, they've put a, quite a bit of... Hey, the VR realm, how are you? They've put a bit of effort into... Yes, I have, but I haven't played it yet at all, but it looks amazing. Probably be playing that over the next couple of days, but I've not even loaded it up. Englishman, is it? Come on. Eat your heart out. Right, here we go. actually landing now. Just having capture card issues, oh really? <laughs> it, I'm okay. What's going to be your next next video VRL? What are we likely to see? got death flat, so well, I've not tried that yet. Some quest. Um, that's been getting a little bit of stick. Something in it. Down to there. 
So they, they have to put a lot of effort into uh, putting a, a variety of stadiums in there. But as I keep saying, it's, uh, to me, they don't feel any different. There's, there's still a slope. Some, some look nicer than others. A bit more detail. Perfect for finding yourself down the side. Here we go. Oh. Right. That was bad. That started off. That was also that. Pyeongchang, South Korea. I think I've nearly seen everything that this game has got to offer. Second jump, we can do this. Second opportunity. I thought I'd lost it. Maybe some of the course, the jumps are slightly more difficult. speeds or something when you're on here. This is a difficult thing. A am I going further because I've upgraded the equipment or because I've been playing this for a couple of hours and I now know, you know roughly what I should be doing? <laughs> Which is not that. And I, you know, and I'm now, you know, do I can control the game better. I understand the controls better and the mechanics of the game. And that's why I'm, I'm jumping further, I don't know. But the, if you look at the, the outfits, then... Well, let's, let's try it. After this, after this jump, what I'll do, I'll come back to Innsbruck, and I will put all the low gear on, and we'll see. And so we'll see. But this is the upgrade.
Oh, that was rubbish, but that was nearly 20 metres. So let's go and change and take all the gear off then and see, see what happens. Let's go here. if there isn't, what was the point of buying all those things with your points, if you're not? We're trying to get 100%. going down that slope. Let's see. No, because that second jump. <laughs> I'm just going to try it again because that second one actually was quite close. My personal best. I don't know if there is or not, to be honest. Because there's not a lot of difference between that, that yellow line is my personal set, which I I've been achieving. That's the, again, that's starting. Let's try it. Let's keep. I don't know. It's difficult to say. There's not a vast difference, so I have to say. There is. <laughs> Maybe, you know, you get affected by crosswinds a bit more and things. slight bit of difference or maybe I've improved that the game but then why is it not you know why is it not making that amount of difference let's go back once again and put all the, the top gear on and do do one more. just down, going down the in run and adding to the fly so we can do that. Oops. Maybe when you get down to the, you know, 
including all of the other bits and pieces. Maybe that makes a big difference. Let's, let's do a quick jump on the Innsbruck once again. Let's see. This will be the final uh, couple of goes, guys, because I've been on it for quite a while now. Yeah. No, I, th I think, you know, the idea of the upgrading your equipment is to make you keep coming back and playing it. Otherwise, what would be the reason for me to keep coming back and, and trying these jumps? Because now I've, I've done it. The only thing is, is to keep my, my jump. Maybe. I would say there's a slight incrementation of improvement. And possibly when you get to the top floor. So, upgrading three times has it's given me eight meters jumping on my best jump so yeah I, I would say that's probably the thing about the game is how addictive what sort of addictive personality you've got i these sort of games i probably will load up every now and again and show people that do a bit more it's okay christopher i would say if you like your sports i am a sports person which is why i've been on here you know playing it for a couple of hours now um, there's not a lot of difference. I'll do a couple more. I don't know if you've been watching. Um, the stadiums are, are different. But the, the actual gameplay doesn't change at all. It's, I think once you've got it, got it down to a fine art of where you should be landing and taking off. It's like uh, I nearly always get 100% now on the push-offs. He says, get him up and down the slope. I've definitely improved, I would say. So if you persevere, it, you will get better because I, when I was doing the actual World Cup I wasn't landing any of these. Now I'm landing about the same distance all the time and it's purely coming down to you know, the skill you show when you're doing your leaps what you you know what the what the skill set is. There's 16 different stadiums to try. They all look different but they act the same. There's just might be a difference in the crosswinds that, I, that I've seen. Um, I've tried to look for, see if there's any that look really steep. I mean, the Oslo looks pretty amazing because it, it's, it's sunset. So graphically, that's one of the better looking ones, but they're, they're not what I'd call high definition. You know, they're just average. say this looks like you know if, it, if this had come out the first few months on the PSVR we'd all be saying oh this, this looks amazing because we didn't know anything better for a walk. 
<laughs> right, I'll do one more. One more. Let's have a look. See. So yes, it's simple to control, using the move controllers. Hey Chaos, how are you? Let's try it. Average. <laughs> 2%, so you can muck it up totally and that mucks up the speed. Which will then... Give him a bit of speed. I'm good, thanks, Chaos. Cheers. Yeah, I, w I would say this is an average game. No, nothing more than that, and it'll come down to whether you like sports games and you want something that's completely different. You know, there's not a lot else to see, really. It's just whether you want the... I suppose if you're a trophy hunter, then you'll want to do the, the ramps and the slopes and the jumps and perfecting everything so you get all the trophies and try and finish first in the World Cup jumping. But if you're not, you know, if you're not that way inclined, then you're more likely to show this. Play it for an evening. Play it again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Made a complete arse of that. Slagging games off, but you've got to be and So, you know, I couldn't say to you that rush out and get this when there's so many other games out there that. Yeah, exactly. I think so. I think there's so many other really good games out there that about the same sort of price. It's 15 99 at the moment. I think you can get a couple of pounds, a couple of quid off it. Um, if you've got a PS Plus account, which is always nice. It's, as you said earlier, it's a one-trick pony. And there's no... You know some games you get a feeling of motion, sort of sickness or anything? None of that, I'll get no feeling of speed when I'm going down there. I only just noticed the difference in the in the speed. You know, going between how far I've upgraded the equipment to the lowest. When you do your timing, it's... So if you do that, you will slow it down. And yet it doesn't have any adverse effect. In fact, I jump further. I actually jump further by knocking it out at the top there. I'm not concentrating on perfecting my, my jump. So why have I been doing that all the time? So if you try and keep it... There you go.
crashed it stayed in view yeah I've got, you know, I, I think if, if this was part of a Olympic sport package and there were other things to do, I, I would love to see a bobsleigh and whether, you know, you could control, because that's done on a, like a pulley system, the bobsleigh, and whether you could, you know, control a bobsleigh going down in first person, that would be incredible. So we got the last one to do then. Two. I don't think I've done this one. So we've got two more. This one and the last one. And then I shall be calling it a night. Thank you very much for joining me everyone. I really appreciate you always coming in here. For all your comments. Hopefully, you know, it's uh, giving you an idea of what the game's about. Something a bit different. Somebody call an ambulance, <laughs> 911, not on <laughs> 999 if you're in the UK. US store there are there is some ATV games but I don't think that they've got you know they're fully VR I think they've got you know little bits and pieces in them that's VR which is a shame in fact we're a bit lacking completely in VR racing games on the PSVR. What's going on here? Let's, uh, so I didn't push off there, so that's a bit different. Sound's gone. So what's going on here? Well, that's a bit weird. Oh, I've still managed to. Hello, John. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. Santa's coming. On a ski. Down the slope, very far. Hope you left your mince pies out for him. Last one then. Let's go back down. Not getting any, you know, stars for doing this. So you only get point uh, money, dollar, and stars by finishing the the World Cup. So you doing the the race, doing these one-off jumps. You don't get anything for doing those. It's almost like a free practice. Right. Here we go. if you've been bad or good, you know, so be good for goodness sake. Last jump, let's make it a good
could be better in four. It's always that one judge that could be better in four. It's just something it's like the Eurovision Song Contest all over again. Okay, everyone, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you for your comments. That is Ski Jump Pro VR on the PSVR 1599 or I think 1439 or something, something silly like that. You get a small percentage off if you're a PS Plus person. I would say it's an average game. It's a nice different thing to show people, but it will be down to you, the type of person you are, whether you really love your sport and love your winter sports game. No, thank you, Shats. Thanks for joining me. And if you love your sports games, then I would say at 15.99, there's a few hours of content here to try and maximise it, and you'll probably get better at it than, than I did, certainly. I was just flying through the World Cup, not upgrading my equipment or anything. Um, if you concentrate on doing that, I think you'll you probably beat the game if you, you know, you, you concentrate and persevere with upgrading your gear. Thank you for watching, have a good evening, and I'll be back with another live stream soon. If you haven't done already, hit the like button please, I really appreciate it. Hit the subscribe, I know the majority of you have done that already, and if you hit the little notification bell whenever I do a live stream, you can come in and join me, and have a good chat. Thanks for watching guys, I'll catch you all soon. Cheers, bye bye.